Justice for Mobad, justice for Mole, and justice will get. My people, you see this justice matter. They are flashing people, they are threatening people, they are doing all kinds of things for people. But you know what? We are not backing out. We are not stopping until we get justice. When I hear black widow, they confess by itself yesterday, life under red. Hey God. It was confessing yesterday, life under red with his own mouth. If you sit down and listen to her, if you listen to that her video yesterday, you see that she's confessing. But guys, don't worry, because they are going to confess. We keep on sharing, Ada. We keep on sharing and sharing and talking about it. No rest. Because we're not going to rest. They say no grief for anybody. All the people that buy money, they will surely pay, guys. They will. They will. They will pay. So please, if you are joining us for the first time, please share, comment, and like. If you watch us on Facebook, press the button that said follow. Thank you, guys. God bless. Yes, good day, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are streaming from, I commend you. Uh, it's your boy again, Westo. Thank you for checking on me. Thank you for wanting the best for me. Uh, I'm fine. I'm here and happy. Those who have reached me, uh, I won't be able to reply all messages. But of course, I will get in touch and I'll get back to you all. Uh, I have to do this this morning just for us to have an update of what happened yesterday. A whole lot of you have called me to say, Westo, what happened in court? We miss your life. Yes, I know. Because of the time difference, uh, all of us cannot be, you know, up at the same time and all of us can, cannot be awake at the same time. Uh, those who join the live, I appreciate. And those who still come to join, I appreciate too. I'm going to go live to give us more update. But I just have to do this summary for those who want to hear the summary of what happened yesterday. I was in court live and direct. Uh, I was giving update real-time broadcast. And I must tell you that it was a court filled up with a lot of witnesses on, you know, bad case. Uh, in summary, we have Liham. That's a small boy, the innocent boy. We have uh, the wife. That's uh, Mumi, Mubat's uh, wife. We have um, also Mubat's mother. Yes, that's Mama Mubat. And we have Mubat's father, Baba Mubat. They were in court yesterday. In addition, we have the mother of the wife. That is Mumi's mother. Uh, we have the DJ that is uh, Ajishegiri Sultan Ayobami. I, I, I hope I'm, I'm getting the name now. Okay, that 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 is uh, the DJ that lived with, you know, Mubad. They were together in the house. They, they lived together with Wumi and the DJ. So it's AKA Bami. That's the name. Bami was there yesterday in court. He also gave his own testimony. And also we have the younger brother of Mubad. That is uh, Adura Gbimi Aloba. He was also in court. I hello a lot of family members were there. A lot of counsels, lawyers, they were present. Please, I, I'm going to be giving the name when I go live later. I just want to do a recap. So quickly, uh, Baba Mubad talked yesterday. Uh, he spoke, and uh, Mama Mubad also spoke, and uh, the DJ Bami also spoke. There were new updates. There were new revelations. There were new facts. Things we we've not had before. We we could hear yesterday in the court. I don't know where the inspiration came from that <laughs> all of them were just giving us things that they've not told us before in the court. So I'll just start with Baba Mubad. It was the first that was caught. So what happened? Baba Mubad said his son is not, you know, 27 years of age. He's 26, that he was 26 before he died. He said he was born January 20, uh, sorry, January 3rd. That January 3rd. And uh, he's 26, he was 26. So against the rumor there that he was born June, and uh, kind of uh, saying that, uh, you know, Mubad was uh, uh, 27 years, uh, you know, that's fake. He's 26, born January 3rd. Okay, secondly, the father said he lived with his son for 18 years. 18 years. Yes. Uh, he said for that 18 years, they were together in the house in Ekorodu before he left for Malian. You know, and I'm going to give details of, of, of that later. Uh, also, he said... Uh, as a father, he didn't know his son for any, you know, um, infection or any health issue except for appendix. That he, the only time he took his son to, you know, uh, hospital when he was small, when he was with him, was when he had appendix or kind of appendix rashes or so. You know, that was a medical time he used there, but uh, he said that's the only time I never took the son to hospital that the son is not that type of son that's sick anyhow all right uh it's also talked about uh you know yes 
when he was uh, informed that the son is not fine, that uh, you know the son is dead, is dead, he said he visited the house. This is something I've not had before. He said when he got there, he met a lot of people, and he didn't even stay where he was laid down. He went inside the room where he normally meets Mubad anytime he, he visits him. And uh, he said when he gets in the room, he saw a cloth soaked with blood. Uh, and he was like, he said someone died. And this is a cloth soaked with blood where I usually, you know, sit with him to talk to him whenever I'm in his house. He then said after seeing the cloth with the blood, he went back uh, downstairs to see that the son has been, you know, uh, kind of been bound in the, in the local way by having, you know, cutting wool in the nose, cutting wool in the hair, and they have placed a salt, that is salt, white salt, uh, on his chest. He said that is all he could remember until he started trying to see how he can be deposited in the mortuary and no way. You know, I'm going to give details on that too. So he also talked about Indomie, that um, Mubad reported the wife at times, that, that they, they have a toxic relationship. That the wife has also killed Moba before the final death. He said there was a time that uh, Moba told him that daddy, um, my wife was uh, is cheating and I used to catch my wife cheating with another person. The father said he asked how that Moba said when they were in Malian house, Mumi used to be with them and uh, Mumi has always cooked, you know, Indomie. She, she likes cooking Indomie for him a lot. That Mumi will put uh, drug sleeping drugs, sleeping tablets in the Indomie. After eating, he will sleep and Mumi will enter another person's room in Malia has to go and have sex. That the wife of that person, the girlfriend to that guy, now called him to say, ah, Mubad, your wife should be warned. Anytime he gives you drug to sleep after you're eating, eating your Indomie, is she's always inside with my boyfriend, having sex, this, that, and so on. That he has to, she has to come out, you know. And the father was like, ah, if that is the issue, you know, I can't send your wife away for you. Then I can protect you. The father said he took Mubad to another apartment to save, you know, cool off to, to get himself, like put him, his uh, mental health in order. And within three days, Mubad also texts the wife again to show the address because Mubad could not cope with that woman. That he was surprised, that kind of love, that is a natural love, that he was surprised. A lot of things. I'm going to give details. You know, I'm just giving a recap. So this Indomie of 18 came up like two, three times when he was talking. Different type of Indomie. They even said when he was giving injection, when he was convulsing, he vomited and he vomited Indomie. Is it the wife? Uh, you know, the, the wife is not, they said it's Adura. Adura, that is my bad younger brother that cooked the Indomie before he, he convulsed after getting the injection. You know, um, also, Baba Muba talked about another scene that he, Mumi, and Muba were going to church, and Muba slept off. The next thing, Mumi picked the phone and was opening, it, was reading, and was showing him that, Daddy, see your son, he is having different chats, you know, talking about different, you know, women, that there are a lot of uh, women on the chat, Muba sent money to them, Muba cruise, Muba humanized, and so on, that Mumi was just nagging fighting and he has to say come on Mumi, don't worry i'll talk to my son it doesn't work what you fight over and so on and so forth i'll give details on that later during my life another side is that the father also said that there was a time that um, Mumi left the house we went to rent an hotel and when you rent an hotel it was there for a week he was not coming home. Daddy, son called to say, hey, Daddy, my wife has started again. He's not in the house. And he was like, Ah, Mumi, why would Mumi do that? Mumi, what happened? Hey, your son, this, that, and so on. So he has to leave the house to go and write a note and said, ah, Wow, you are a wife for crying out loud. You cannot leave your house. You have to come and resolve with your husband. Living in the hotel, leaving the house is, is, is not good for a wife. And you know, all these are just pointing to the fact that there was toxic relationship. You know, a whole lot. And uh, also, there, there was a time that uh, he said, um, okay, that uh, women used to send good people away from Mubad. Anybody that is coming from Mubad to come and help Mubad, anybody, especially guys, men, women will never allow that. Women prefer our family to be all over Mubad than any other person. He said a lot of things that as a father. The mother also talked. And one interesting thing about the mother is that the mother, the mother said, She's not been into Mumi that much. That she and Mumi are not friends. That the only thing that brought her and Mumi together is Leah. 
that he, she has to take care of uh, Leham being a grandson. Now that is the time that she and Mumi came together. So it's not as if that they are really together. And she said they should even ask the wife necessary question in case they want to investigate the death of his son. Um, Bami is the one that killed it. Bami, that's the GJ. In fact, he pointed fingers on Mumi so much that it was Mumi and Mobad that were inside, even when the nurse came. It was the, it was even Bami that called the nurse, not Spendy. Spendy gave the number, Bami did the, the, the job. So all these are many. I don't know how to do it in such a way that I, I can summarize. But please, there are so many things. I want you to come on my life shortly and then let us do the breathing again. Let us be on the same page. And by God's grace, I want to believe that we're going to get justice. I appreciate everyone once again. I appreciate my fans, my followers. I remain your boy well, so I'll continue to give you the best. Justice for Mubad. Let's do it again, guys. Love you.